I think you find in these works, more than anything else, a desire of the artist's painting uh, to paint a world that reflects the donors who were requesting the works of art. And you'll see throughout the, the show that different artists approach this problem in different ways. And it's that sort of polyphony of all of these artists doing this in different ways that creates an entire new era in art history. So there is a not to be missed moment in the show, which is the reunification of 24 pages that once formed part of a songbook that was commissioned by a confraternity or a group of lay people, probably wealthy merchants and others of means, who got together and sang hymns in praise of the Virgin and various saints. And this is the most luxurious manuscript of the 14th century, hands down. Uh, and they're proud of it because you can see all these members of the confraternity painted into the bottom areas of each page. Some get to be in a little rounder, round little lead donors. Some have to get stuck in the margin, minor donors. And so you see that that's playing out even in the 1300s. But we've brought these pages back together for the first time in over 200 years. And a group called Lionheart that will perform here on April 6th has actually transcribed the music from this book so that we're actually also reuniting the music, which is being sung, and you'll hear it ambiently in the space, with the pages from this book, and it's truly uh, an amazing moment. I think that the work that I'm standing in front of right now, which is a triptych from the Getty Museum in Los Angeles by the artist Bernardo Dadi, is one of the works in the show that really exemplifies the accomplishments of the artists who were working in Florence between the years 1300 and 1350. You see here that the Virgin looks to her left and she sort of escapes our eye, but she reaches beyond the small parapet or altar in front of her so that she reaches into our world. And it's that small gesture of reaching beyond the ethereal world in which she stands with its gold iconic background and into our world on earth that represents the real revolution that was made in art between 1300 and 1350. Gone are the images that depict a world beyond one that we can't relate to and suddenly right in front of our eyes is a world that we can relate to architecture from our everyday lives and I'm speaking from the point of view of a Florentine citizen and w bodies that reflect our own as you see Mary's actually wearing an incredible red dress that has covered in gold embroidery and she's wearing an incredible blue mantle on top which has this incredible gold trim which is encrusted with gems. Those are both things that would very much have mirrored the kinds of fashions that were worn in Florence at that time. So in an effort to understand how these artists achieved these amazing new technical accomplishments, the last five years have been filled with scientists and conservators of art traveling around the world with curators, uh, including Christine Chiaka at the Getty and myself, uh, trying to understand the actual technical makeup of the paintings made at this time. And you'll find throughout the show that there are actually iPads that help you peel back the layers that are built up to create all of these fascinating works in the show. And also to give you sort of a backstage view of, of what kinds of investigation these conservators and scientists did.